Hello, I'm Matt from Practical BI and welcome to another Power BI guide uh, looking at time intelligence functions this time um, and we're looking at how to calculate month to date, quarter to date or year to date totals. Uh, and we'll look at two different functions uh, that can help us do this or two different types of functions I should say. Um, but generally this is uh, aimed at beginner level um, and you'll just need to know um, how to use the calculate function and, and a bit in general about how DAX measures work. As always, I'll make sure there's a link to the data set and to the Power BI file that I've used in this video. Um, I'll put that link in the description to this video. OK, so let's jump straight in. OK, so I'm in a report here. I've got um, some sales data, so I've got a unit sold column. Um, you can see my, my data set over here, and I've also got a date column. And what I've done is I've just uh, joined that my sales data, my clothes sales in this case, um, by the date column to my date table. So I've got a, a fairly simple date table. Um, and if you'd like to see any um, any more information, if you'd like to learn more about date tables and what they're used for and how you create them, um, you can check out one of my other videos um, that will help you with that. Um, so this is my date table. I've got a, a, a date column. I've got my, a month field, a, a day field, a quarter and a year, and a month name field there as well. So um, let's just have a look first of all at what's going on and, and, and what's in this report to start with. Um, so if we go over to the month to date um, uh, section here, we've got uh, 98,000 sales. Um, and what you can see, so we've got uh, each day in the month, on the left hand side we've got the units sold and then I've created a new measure which is our month to date sales. So um, you can see that on the first day I sold 7,334 units and uh, so that's the same value for my for my um, month to date value. On the second day though um, you can see that this, this total is cumulative so um, I sold another 2,500, they've been added on and so on through the month. You can see my sales increasing through January until we get to the end of January where you can see that they reset again. So I've got a running month to date total throughout the month up until um, uh, up until the end of the month. So at the moment, I, I'm looking at a full year's worth of data. Let's just uh, demonstrate that again. Let's say I, I, um, I go back to, to January and we look at um, 31st of January. So uh, you can see 94,000 sales as of the 31st of January. And as I take that back, you'll see that that KPI or that, that card um, uh, reducing down. So 90,000 as of the 29th, and we can see that as of the 29th, our cumulative total was 90,000. So I can show uh, month to date values um, in, in a card as well. Um, and before we uh, have a look at the, the quarter to date and the year to date, let's just have a look at how we actually create that month to date um, measure. So uh, if I just go into my measures table here, um, if you're not familiar with the measures table, there's another uh, quick tip video I've done on, on, on that. Um, let's have a look at our units sold dates month to date um, measure here. OK, so I've got uh, just called this units sold dates month to date. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm using an existing uh, fun uh, measure that I've created called units sold. I'll just show you that before we carry on so you can see what's in there. So this is just a, a sum of my uh, clothes sales unit sold column. Um, I'm just adding zero there so that I, I see my zeros in my in my table. Um, and so I'm just using that within this calculate function. And then I'm using my dates month to date function and I'm passing my dates column in my calendar table to that function. So what's going on here is I'm saying give, calculate the sum of sales, but I'm effectively applying a filter to say uh, just for the for the month to date dates, and that's what this dates month to date to date uh, function does is it returns to me a table of the dates um, for the month to date. So I'm I'm effectively saying sum this sum sum my units sold, but only for the dates that are within the month to date, and obviously uh, that changes as as my date column changes. So um, on the first of January, the only the only date in my month to date table is the first of January. But then once I go to the second of January, I've got I've got two dates in that table that, that's being created by this uh, by this function. Uh, and so that's that's how the the calculation works. Um, and this measure can work in exactly the same way. Um, if I 
uh, look at um, dates quarter to date so dates QTD here exactly the same syntax um, and you can see here um, working in a similar way as well I can look at monthly sales across quarters um, and I can see them cumulative across Q1 and then resetting again for Q2 and I get them cumulative across Q2 and resetting again for Q3 and the same is, is, is true for year to date so um, you can see on the right hand side here I've got uh, my year to date sales cumulative throughout the whole year and they would reset again uh, when I get to the next year uh, and again works in exactly the same way using this dates year to date um, function so uh, as there often is with Power BI there's there's another way of, of getting to the same outcome um, and we can use the total um, functions as well so there's total month to date total quarter to date and total year to date and as you can see here they give me exactly the same results so I've just uh, just demonstrating this with the month to date here I've got uh, uh, my units sold using my dates month to date me method and I've got my units sold using a total month to date method and you can see it got exactly the same values so let's just have a look at the total month to date um, function here so this time slightly different instead of uh, passing passing a uh, my dates month to date for, uh, function via a calculate function. Um, my total month to date uh, function is, um, is is doing two things in one here. So it's it's saying apply the calculation, um, and this is the date column to consider when cal when uh, filtering for just the month to date dates. Um, so I'm saying sum my units sold and use the date column to in my calendar table to. Um, to filter for month to date dates and this would work in exactly the same way if I was looking at quarter to date or year to date as well so I hope that's been uh, a useful video for you um, as always uh, if, if you've uh, got any feedback or suggestions or any other questions uh, happy to answer them if you could uh, just add them to the comments here um, and if you have enjoyed this video please do like and subscribe um, and um, I look forward to speaking to you again